I thought I'd share a little background and some insight into my learning method. But first, some history. So three years ago, I had this crazy idea where I would learn a kickflip on a skateboard from scratch in under 24 hours. So I grabbed my camera, pushed record, and started filming every second that I spent on the board. It took me less than six hours to land my first kickflip, but this idea of learning something quickly with really, really focused, deliberate practice and quantifying practice time in hours really seemed to resonate with people. So I continued doing this and I built my YouTube channel around this concept of learning skills in this way. And three years and 50 skills later, and here I am. Over that time, I've developed a method that I use to learn skills, and it works really, really well for me. So here's a quick summary of the key points. I tend to jump into learning almost immediately after the idea pops into my head. I try to leave no time for backing out. I also do very little background research on equipment or techniques beforehand. Sometimes I find myself put off from even starting if I look into it too much. I always set a very well-defined goal, clear, concise, and unambiguous. I record myself practicing. This acts as my journal of progress. I try to stay disciplined and motivated with regard to practice. And since I am making a video, I find myself actively embracing struggle as part of the theme of my channel. Pretty simple stuff, right? But this really, really works for me, and there are a number of benefits to doing things this way. It's really fast. Well, I think so anyway. And I end up trying more stuff overall than if I had hesitated at the start. Having a clearly defined goal at the beginning and then smashing through that goal as you progress is really, really rewarding. And there's no muddiness. It's very clear. You achieved this. So you have a reason to celebrate. And by filming everything, I'm effectively journaling my progress, although you could use a notebook. And what this means is I can clearly see my successes, and this keeps my morale and motivation levels really high. Furthermore, by documenting or journaling my progress, it records the struggles that I endured to get to this point. So overcoming them is that much more rewarding. It changes how I see struggle. It is no longer something that holds me back. It's something that I overcame. Since I've done this for a while now, I've developed a number of practice or studying techniques that really compress the whole learning experience down to a much shorter time. And we'll go over those in the lessons to come. Overall, I've found this quick paced learning style combined with smart practice or studying technique to make the learning experience quicker and more enjoyable. So just before we jump into the next lesson, there's a couple of things I think you should do. You probably already got in your mind a skill that you'd want to try and learn next. So using the template that I've provided in the Skillshare project section, you can download that template, write down a really clear, concise, bite-sized milestone, uh, a goal that you'd like to achieve within that skill. It could be something like learning to write your first program in Python or to learn three chords on the guitar. As you progress with the skill employing the techniques that we'll learn in this course, keep your Skillshare project updated as you get closer to that goal. Treat this as your journal of your progress. And in the next lesson, we'll look at mindset and how our brains learn new information. I'll see you then.